Your Highness, Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, Member of the Supreme Council, <laughs> Member of the Supreme Council, Ruler of Sharjah, and President of American University of Sharjah. Distinguished guests, parents and families, and most importantly, the graduating class of fall 2011. It gives me great pleasure and a wonderful feeling of satisfaction to welcome all of you to this happy occasion. I congratulate all of you graduates and your happy families on the achievement of the completion of your studies at American University of Sharjah. Some of you finished your course of studies this past summer, others in the last week or two. For all of you, this achievement has taken years to accomplish. And during these years, the university's faculty and staff have done their best to prepare you for the next stage of your lives. And we are certain that through your hard work and your participation in the many opportunities and experiences that AUS offers, you have attained the requisite knowledge and the essential life skills that will help you to succeed in whatever profession or endeavor that you choose to pursue. Now, you are ready to move on to the next stage of your lives, to begin a new journey of discovery. It may well be difficult for many of you to imagine how your journey will progress. I know that some of you will follow paths that you have already long considered and worked hard to prepare. For others of you, the paths that life opens up to you have yet to be defined. Whatever you end up doing, I hope that you pursue your activities with ambition, with passion, and with a keen sense of adventure. Realize as well that pursuing your dream may require a great deal of hard work. Let me relate an example of someone who represents this experience of pursuing one's dream and working very hard to do so. Last fall, I met a young woman who spoke at one of our alumni gatherings. This was Ms. Suzanne al Hobi, who is married, a mother of two, and a resident of the UAE. Last May, Suzanne al Hobi became the first Arab woman to climb Mount Everest. But as she told us on that night, she did not immediately dream of accomplishing this achievement. Rather, it was an ambition that developed over a number of years. While hiking with friends, she discovered that she loved mountain climbing. This love instilled in her the ambition to climb high mountains. Over time, she developed the necessary skills to achieve her dream. As a result, she became the first Arab woman to climb Mount Elbrus, the highest point in Europe. She went on to become the first Palestinian woman to scale Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest peak. And as she climbed these peaks, she began to dream of scaling Mount Everest. As I learned, this endeavor is no easy matter. It requires months of practice. You have to spend weeks on the side of Mount Everest itself to become used to the lack of oxygen and to acclimate yourselves to the physical rigors of the experience. You need to climb first to the first base camp, and then you return back. Then you climb to the second base camp, something that takes two weeks to do, and then you return back. Over, only these long and difficult practice ascents can prepare you for the final climb to the summit of the mountain, the tallest in the world. The achievement of climbing Mount Everest, as Suzanne described it, takes incredible physical effort and tremendous strength of will. You have to push yourself to the limit. Now, in recounting this story, 
I do not intend to suggest that all of us have to achieve great things or to be the first person to do something. Rather, what I want to suggest is that it is important that you begin to develop your dreams, whatever these dreams turn out to be. And it is equally important that as your dreams and ambitions crystallize, that you be ready to work hard to fulfill them. By doing this, you maximize your own personal potential and you will be using to the utmost all of the skills and the knowledge that you have developed here at AUS. Wherever your dreams or aspirations lead you, rest assured that your university will follow your lives and your careers with great interest. From the AUS Alumni Association, you will find support from your fellow graduates and from your university. And as you create your lives, I urge you to live them in accordance with principles and values that we have worked hard to instill in you during your years at the university. These are the values of personal integrity, social responsibility, hard work, and care for your fellow human beings. Once again, my warm congratulations to your new graduates and to your families. Thank you for your attention. Your Highness, as you come to the podium, please accept the sincerest gratitude of the Board of Trustees, the faculty and staff, our guests today, and especially on this occasion, the gratitude of the graduating class for your extraordinary generosity and your support.